Rough Riders and TikTok says Battle Toads, and then after that, Mechanic Mike says Relaxes Me. And I read the comments together, and I read Battle Toads Relaxes Me, and I thought I had a complete psychopath in the chat. <laughs> Like, oh, Battletoads relaxes me and pulling the arms and legs off of kittens. Yeah! There, that's what it is. Reset, please. Okay, good. I do what Matt D says. Oh, good job bringing the time back up to 420. That's nice. That's nice. Let's start the game. <clears throat> so, uh, that, like I said, that's my that's my worry about Nest Fest. Otherwise, I have to take all of the beer and bottle it. Uh, and if I do three kegs of beer for Nest Fest, that is well, a lot of beer. A lot of beer. Yeah. So that's my concern. What's the most difficult game you played in this way? Z1? Mm. I didn't say bring beer for everybody. Only bring beer for good people and like me. Oh, I got it. Who said that Jader's not everybody? Oh, that'll be easier. But no, I'm going to bring beer for ev uh, for a lot of people. Well, I may end up doing... So the problem is, is you suck. Sticks for all of you. So the problem is, uh, I could just do... Is there another one? I could just do one keg of beer, but then, uh, then you don't get to, you gonna fall? No. Then you don't get to, uh, try different things. Like, people like to try different things, right? So, I don't know. I haven't decided. Uh, I'm definitely brewing beer for Nest Fest. I just don't know what, oh, you suck. I just don't know what uh, amount and what kind. Mechanic Mike, what's going on, bud? Welcome. How you doing? Hope you're having a lovely morning. Do me a favor. Don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. Don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. Oh, Sassy is on TikTok too? No. I'm tri viewing. I'm pretty much a wizard at this point. <laughs> Thank you, Sassy, for the tri view. Bop, 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 bop. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, guys, uh, this isn't going to work now because I reset the internet. Let me restart it. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Hi, Slack. I chat, Slacky. You close to California? I am not close to California. I couldn't be much farther from California. You're in the end of, of May. Yeah, Amsterdam. Sorry, I am. Uh, I am not very close to California. So why is it, is it working now? Are we connected? Yeah, shots are up. Oh, 
Easy now. I don't know if I deserved all that. Nicely <laughs> done, Julie Cat. You guys are you guys waste a lot of vegetables. I just stopped puzzle time. Go! What's puzzle time? What's a puzzle time? All right, stop. Puzzle time. Scooby Doo, Shaggy Doo. So, show of Zoltans, how many people here can, uh, who got three keys, Matt? You have three keys? Good for you. How many people here can enjoy the simple putting a puzzle together? And I'm not talking like, oh, I, I can put, but like, actually enjoy it. Because I can sit down and spend six or eight hours putting a puzzle together. I do it with my daughter. Holy cow. Scar likes jigsaw puzzles 100%. Good. Because Matt D doesn't like it. And I think he's weird for not liking it. Uh, Buzz Thunder likes puzzles. Isn't it great? How you doing, Buzz? I see you've been a horde at work uh, on the Minecraft server. I'm also surprised in your choice of building with diorite. Isn't it like universally hated? I don't mind it, but I think everyone hates diorite. Buzz is like, that's actually what I am going to build all of my stuff out of. I'm about 1300 to 1500 on this one. Oh, as, as far as, uh, like, the scale or something? You said you didn't like it. There's just a lot of things I'd rather do. Well, that's what I mean. I'd rather do nothing else besides put a... Like, yeah, like, it'd be... It, that's at the top of my list. It's, a, it's assembling a puzzle and drinking. I have to drink with it. But I don't, I don't have to drink alcohol. But I do need to drink. I can drink coffee and do a puzzle. I can drink beer or wine. Like, I can drink. Oh, I'm going to hit. There's no way I can... Ooh! Wow! Now, I don't... I wouldn't drink milk from a bag while puzzling. What can I say? I like white stuff. We knew, Buzz. We knew. Gotta love the milk. Do you, though? Like, do you have to love bag milk? Well, I read two different uh, comments. Uh, Rough Riders in TikTok says Battle Toads, and then after that, Mechanic Mike says Relaxes Me. And I read the comments together, and I read Battletoads relaxes me, and I thought I had a complete psychopath in the chat. <laughs> like, oh, Battletoads relaxes me, and pulling the arms and legs off of kittens. Wee! 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 
<laughs> Ruff is like, no, I hate that game. Battletoads is... You know, you either love it or you hate it. And most people hate it. I'm, uh... I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. You you can also be meh about Battletoads. I'm meh. What a shitty throw, turd. Uh, Rough Riders. I'm I'm just meh. So the only reason why I'm playing Battletoads is because I have been people have been uh, requesting I play Battletoads for a really really long time. Um, I'm most known for doing uh, flawless challenges of old video games, so I take and uh, I learn an old, hard NES game, and I try to beat the game without taking any hits or any damage. And because that's like my thing, uh, everyone wants to see Battletoads, because it's so notorious for being really difficult. And that's why we're playing. I, I did pretty much hate the game as a kid. Like, I didn't like it, I didn't want to play it, uh, Battletoads, blah. Now that I'm learning it, I don't mind it so much, but I'm not, like, I don't want to play it a ton. And when I'm done with this challenge, I probably won't, like, oh, you suck a lot. I probably won't play Battletoads much. Hmm. Or ever again. <laughs> right now we're going for a no-death playthrough. Uh, yesterday we had like a five-death playthrough. Uh, and right now the goal is to get through the game without dying, and then we'll go to without damage. The reason why I'm doing deathless before damageless is... Uh, If you're going damageless, you're spending a lot of time resetting every little tiny mistake, and it's very easy to under-practice uh, the later part of the game. By going deathless, or actually, the next up is, uh, the next goal will be less than five deaths. So I'm not going to reset the game unless I die more than five times. Well, actually, more than four times, because I do have a five-death run. It allows you to have a goal in mind to complete, which goals are great when you're doing these really hard challenges. You don't want to just say, all right, any hit I reset. Uh, you don't end up practicing uh, very well. But it allows you to have a goal. Uh, and by the time I get to a, a no death run. If it bleeds, we can kill it. By the time I get to a no-death run, I'll be ready to be very resetty. Anticipated slack damageless games, and the winning result is NARC, and everyone says it's impossible. Uh, NARC is impossible. I will never play that game. No death. No damage. I don't like it. Why would anybody, like, play NARC on purpose? It's terrible. Terrible game. Potato Girl said, did someone say resetty? I don't want to reset yet. I haven't died. This stage is, uh... <laughs> this stage is sucky. I tend to take a lot of deaths here. Lemon, did you play it on the NES? Or did you play it, uh... I hear the arcade port is just so much better. I think the NES port of that game just is not good. Ruff says Super Look, NES for NARC. Julie Cat, you hate accidentally playing NARC. Then we're the same. I hate being tricked into playing it when someone's like, hey, let's play this really good game, and then we end up playing NARC. That's my word. That's like the thing I don't like. That's like uh, Christmas, but all it is is watching other people open bad gifts. Kick it! Like, you don't... 
you don't get any gifts at all. You you just watch other like you just watch kids open gifts, but they're disappointed at all of them. They're all bad. Like that is that's playing narc right there. Battletoads on super. Oh, a battle. Ugh, I hate this part. I was right between them, but because you bounce random, I got killed. Like, I couldn't line up any better. I lined up with... I lined up with my, my shadow directly between the two. But because you bounce randomly, I can't line up low because I may not bounce. I mean, I can't... I guess the idea is you want to put your shadow as low as you possibly can to the fuck <laughs> to the things I just don't like that spot I remember days like this when my father took me to the forest I'm going to get Dork to set me up so I can slack off at work that sounds great sounds like he is whining again me? never whined once not in my whole life Chaser, I don't. I also don't get mad. What's up, Match? How we doing? Welcome. Welcome, Match. Chaser says that I get mad and whine. I think he's a liar. Uh, welcome. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never played Battletoads on the Super Nintendo. I don't play much Super Nintendo. Uh, Rough Riders, the the only game that I've done. Uh, a no damage challenge of on the Super Nintendo is uh, Link to uh, Zelda Link to the Past. Zelda Link to the Past is a fantastic game, and uh, we routed that. It wasn't really that hard of a no damage playthrough. There was some spots that sucked, but for the most part, Link to the Past. If you can memorize the game. Uh, it's, it's really not too bad. I think Mold Worm, Mold Worm, the worm thing was a bit reset. Actually, that's probably the worst spot is Death Mountain in Link to the Past with the boulders that fall. And it's like a half hour into the playthrough and you're pretty... You're, you have a pretty good chance of getting hit. Chasers in Eastwood? Is he really? I don't know why Chaser doesn't play Minecraft or anything like that. You missed. Good job. Good job missing. Really cat. All right, you got me. I don't think anybody's ever going to get catch Julie Cat in in uh, face hits. Is anyone even close? I don't think anyone's close to catching Julie Cat and faced. Tony says, so much nostalgic rage. <laughs> Ow, my lucky face! ba da pop pop ba da pop pop Got him. I didn't even feel it. I didn't even feel it. Look. <laughs> There's glass there. I didn't feel it. I feel it. I'm, pr I'm protected. By a layer of glass, you idiots. <laughs> missed me, missed me. Do it, do it. Come on, kill me. I'm here. Music is dumb. 
Dooley Cat says, <laughs> Boys, watch face bread <laughs> from the tomatoes. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> I'm glad that you explained that to uh, everyone in chat because they, they probably didn't understand how funny that is. Almost missed that one. Big jump. Tomatas form yellow. Shut up, Brian. Yeah, I shouldn't have moved. <clears throat> Let's go. It's like an NL, so am I. It's like my job. <clears throat> Battle Toads, that's what we're playing. Joey. What was that? Well, Julie Cat, thank you for the gift set to Joey. Joey, welcome in. And enjoy your complimentary bag of nuts, courtesy of Julie Cat. Another one? And Buzz Thunder? Buzz, welcome back, bud. Welcome back, bud. Buzz. Try. All right, everyone. Chill. Good old shoe. Hello, I love watching Battle Toads progress. We're getting pretty good, good old shoe. What did Joey say? I'm slacking so hard, I want to turn on my PS4, uh, but I can't reach it. Oh. You know what you can do? Joey. Like, just wait and see if it gets closer. It might get closer. Probably not. Probably not. But it's worth a try. Try that. Good idea. Good idea. It's a much more safe alternative than, like, standing up and walking and stuff. Like, that... That sucks a lot. Jump a booger, jump, jump. <clears throat> 
An earthquake may jostle it closer. There you go. Yeah, you never know. A natural disaster could bring it directly to you. Ron Joe, that's smart. You're smart. Wait for the stink. There it is. Ow! Bump my head. It's getting further away? No, not possible. Not remotely. Look at this golden stink. Oh, miss the jump. I miss the jump. Ow. That is something I will never, ever, ever do again. Unless I want to. If I did it again, it's because I did it on purpose. Mac Daddy make you jump, jump. Crisscross make you jump, jump. Uh huh, uh huh. Gotta be patient. I hate this boss because he makes me patient, and I'm not. Don't tell me what to do. I don't tell you what to do. See at the party, Richter. Um, actually, this is not a zero hit. Uh, we've taken one hit. We took a death in the the bomb Here stage. Thank you. Just one though. So we haven't got hit by anything, but we took a death in the surfing, uh, surfing turd. See, I hate the pause music. It makes me dance like a f an idiot. It makes me dance like a stupid idiot. You got hit by the first boss, I thought. The one throwing stuff? I don't think I did. I mean, I may have a uh, Sandman. We can look back at it. But I don't know if I did. And if I did, it doesn't matter at this point. We're going for a no death or uh, yeah, we're going for a no death run is the first thing. So we're really only keeping track of deaths. And I have one of those. Once we get a no death run, we'll be very, I mean, we'll be very close to a no damage run. Because a lot of the times you're just, in this game, if a lot of times if you're getting hit, you're dying.
<clears throat> what do you command? Damn it, tomatoes! Hit the streamer! Try again! Try again! I'll put my hands behind my head. Do it! Ow, Got me with that one. You did. Good job, Julie. Good job. You did it. I'm glad. I hope you're proud. I'm proud. I don't know if I've... You suck a lot! I don't know if I've been more proud. I think I have been more proud. Like, I've, I have kids and stuff, so... Not that I'm not proud, but, like, you hitting me with a tomato doesn't bring me more pride than, like, the creation of the lives of my children. I know it's a very selfish thing to say. I apologize. Well, as long as you apologize. Wow, rude. <laughs> you birthed a tomato. If I give my kids tomatoes, they would throw them like that. That's that would be their that would be their uh, initial response. Uh, why won't it throw tomatoes at you? Why won't th what? Why won't what throw tomatoes at me? I'm gonna hit you, jo Joey says. Joey, in order to throw tomatoes at me, you need to put tomatoes in the chat, but you also have to buy them. So if you cheer 120 bits, it buys uh. A baker's dozen tomatoes, which is 13. At Joey underscore 2,508. Who did, who did what? Oh, that's nice. Julie Cat, Joey, Joey, Julie Cat just bought you a baker's dozen tomatoes. Now you have, you have 13 of them now. Soda Pony, 30 months? Dirty 30. Wow. That's a lot of months. Mechanic Mike will see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Prince. My sweet Prince. Missed me, missed me. Almost a year. Right in your stupid uh, golden duck face. Come on. Oh, you bastard. So we got hit there, but remember, we're keeping track of deaths, not hits. So that is uh, not a death. That's only a hit. We're not keeping track of hits yet. I feel like, uh, wait for the stink, wait for the stink. <clears throat> I feel like first I would like to pick wild blueberries with Arnold Schwarzenegger and then 
after that, I would like to crush enemies with him. But blueberries first. That's a good one. I'll get there. Come on. Come on. Close. Good job. So we'll get two double purple, there's one double purple ledge, two double purple ledges, and then we fall straight down. Good job, me. Oops. That was a bit late. No! Wait for the stink! Chicken. You guys really have to work on the timing on this last one. Last one's tough. It's a lot longer than you may think, and length matters. If you guys were wondering if length matters, the answer is yes. Uh, Aaron Lord, you're correct. You're correct, but I, I don't think that's uh, uncommon. But a lot of these old NES games. Uh, some of them were ported from arcades, and arcades were absolutely designed to eat quarters. Uh, so if it's an arcade port, you can be sure that the developers were intending you to uh, to uh, eat quarters. Uh, but also, a lot of games were developed, like Aaron Lord on TikTok is saying, a lot of games were developed for uh, rentals. So I'm just going to do it this way. They didn't want you to beat the game. They wanted you to rent it and then want to rent it again to get farther and want to rent it again to get farther. For sure. Joey says there should be a command that is apple pie, which plays the clip from uh, Enter Sandman saying baked apple pie. Misheard lyric. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. Joey, uh, find it for me and then get me a link and we'll do it. I don't care. Don't threaten me with a good time. Uh, oh, sure. No. It's all good when the arcade eats quarters, but when I do it, I get my stomach pumped. <laughs> Oh, Julie Cat, don't eat quarters. Nintendo sued Blockbuster to stop them from renting NES games. A rented game is sold once, but played. So you're saying that was never a thing then? Frosted pears? I could be wrong. You should not drink and bake. <laughs> but well, I guess what Frosted Pears is saying is rental games made a bunch of money for the renting uh, industry, but didn't make money for Nintendo. Because Nintendo only sold the game once to the rental company, to Blockbuster, and then Blockbuster made bank after that. Mm hmm.
Hey, glowing orb, why don't you catch me? You suck. Quit being a slow dickhead. Get faster. I'm going to press the wrong button. He's going to catch me, and I'm going to whine about it. Uh, the key to this stage is to actually go faster than the ball. You know what I mean? It's to get to, uh, it's to get to the end before it catches you. That's the that's the key. Not everyone knows that. Not everyone knows that. Uh, he's like, how about coding it so if we hit the evil circle with the tomato, it does something cool. I can't really do that because I don't have a lot of control over in the code uh, the things that are on this game screen. Running games because the cartridge pick look cool. <laughs> Vincent, right? Absolutely. That art on the cartridge definitely was a was a a reason to rent a game. They don't see any of that rental money. You know, I never thought about it that way. Nintendo probably wouldn't have designed games that way. That's interesting. Wow, Goose says the map of this level in Nintendo Power Guide is nuts to try to understand. Never seen it. There have been authors that wanted to keep their books out of libraries for that reason, but people called them a-holes for that. Yeah, they are, right? Or no? What should I believe? Oh, you dumbass. That's my fault. Speak to the drug dealer of the house, please. The Can art was good on the Atari, Rodney, but the games suck. The out -killing drug dealers. I can't think of any Atari games that I actually enjoyed. <clears throat> Aaron Lord, uh, there could have been, but from from what I'm understanding uh, in the chat on TikTok or on on Twitch is that there wasn't. They're actually they're actually. Because of the lack of a partnership with that, uh, NES sued Blockbuster, and it, they didn't win. But the fact that NES sued Blockbuster is a pretty good indicator that they didn't have a mutual, like, contract where it was mutually beneficial for them. Ooh, Pitfall was pretty good. Pitfall was a pretty good uh, Atari game. Actually, one of the Atari games that I played... I don't have Pitfall. Hello, Sarah. Old Golden Sarah here. Other Sarah. Rolling Bouncer. Jumping Sarah. Jumping Sarah of the four hit. Two, three, four. 
bouncy. Line it up for the green blower. Hello, green blower. Oh, I missed the hit. Was Joust arcade? Uh, Joust was Ness. Jungle Hunt, never played it. Double Dragon on Atari was terrible. There was a double, double Dragon game on Atari? Oh, gross. Uh, Super Pitfall was Ness. Super Pitfall over there somewhere. It's somewhere over there. Doesn't matter. Joust on Atari, uh, on Atari was more fun than NES Joust. I don't really care much for the NES Joust. Wasn't uh, wasn't my bag, baby. Uh, I beat it with 8-Bit Steve just to beat it. Like, just to have a, a co-op playthrough of it. Did you ready read Ready Player One? <clears throat> Corin, my kids uh, are reading that, I think. It's a series of books, right? I think my kid's on book three or something of that. Crumb, you're absolutely right. This is Battletoads for the Nintendo. The goal of this uh, this grind is to beat Battletoads without taking a single hit uh, on this we're in the deathless part of the grind so we're, we're going for a no death run uh, I died once to the surfing stage I landed on a bomb but other than that <laughs> so many fights with uh, yeah I can imagine that this game is a terrible co-op game because of the because that you can hit each other it also can't really be beat co-op very easily. Uh, when you get to the cleaner wiener, the second player can't move. It's a the game was coded wrong, uh, so the second player can't move. And the only way to <clears throat> the only way to uh, finish that is to let the second player die, let the first player finish the stage, and then have the second player continue after when you're on the next stage. <laughs> Battletoads was a horrible game. So, like I said, Aaron, uh, the only reason I'm playing it is because it's been so highly suggested because it's difficult. You know, that's that's my calling in video games is to, to beat old, difficult NES games without taking any damage. Uh, if you guys head on over to uh, uh, Slackinator on YouTube, there's a playlist called Flawless Ness. And on that playlist, you can see all of the games that we've completed uh, so far in this challenge. Let's be honest, though, two-player Klinger Winger would be hell. E it, it, yeah, it would. They, they, you know, maybe that's why they put it in there, because beating it two-player wouldn't be very easy to do. Because as soon as one player turned, if the other one was off the screen, it couldn't see where it was going. Probably why they did it, because it just wouldn't work right. I almost landed on that guy. Would have sucked. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big jump. Kind of like Ghost and Goblins, Aaron. I've done a I've done a no damage playthrough of Ghost and Goblins. People can beat it now, but I'm pretty sure it was unbeatable in the 80s. 
So the way that I beat uh, Ghost and Goblins was by routing the game uh, in a very repeatable way that removed the randomness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A lot of what I do is uh, one and two. A lot of what I do in these old games is I route them to be easier. Ghost and Goblins is ridiculously hard because the way the game creates enemies, uh, it can create enemies directly underneath you. The Jolly Roger Red Freak enemies uh, are really difficult to, to beat. Um, Spicy queso funions have been replaced as king of snacks. Oh. Double crunch hot wings chips cannot be beat. Funions have been replaced. Ruffles Double Crunch Hot Wing Chips cannot be beat. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Spicy Queso Funyuns are pretty damn good. I will try, Jay Dirge. I will try and give you my expert opinion. That's like the speedrun style. Yeah, Aaron Lord, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, ca casual playthroughs are completely different. I mean, a casual playthrough of Battletoads, I'd rather cut off all ten of my toes. Then, then try to beat Battletoads casually. No, thank you. But uh, we've been playing these games for 30 years now, so we have to find different fun things to do with them. Uh, unlike newer games that give you DLC and, and stuff, uh, the retro community is, has found other ways of, of extending the playability. Uh, we do speedruns. Uh, I'm doing damageless challenges of the games. Uh, randomizers are being created now, where we take the ROM file, the digital file for, uh, you know, the digital code for the game, and we tweak it so that it randomly creates parts of the game and allows replay value in the games. Where do you find the Ruffles wing chips? I can't find them anymore. CP, I have no idea. Listen here, Linda, 46 months? Sub for 46 months on purpose? No way. What am I doing? The triumphant return of like the whole Tyson run under 15 minutes is insanity. Yeah, the speed run of Tyson's Punch Out is cool. Um, I don't. I'll never be a speed runner of Punch Out. I have some speed runs that I do, but uh, I tend to stick with the no damage things. I do have a no damage playthrough of Punch Out. Well, it's a little bit. It's no damage, no blocking, and then you can like turn pink in the game. Uh, also, no, no pink. Huh. Gotta hear you, gaper. We got J Dirge in uh, our Twitch chat, uh, Aaron and. I'm more of a Twitch streamer than TikTok. I just I'm on TikTok just for funsies, but uh, Jay Dirge is one of the top punch out players in the world. Helped out a lot with routing it for no damage, or not routing it. That route kind of already existed. I didn't really do anything in in that for routing. Mm -mm. Jaderd says, I'm okay. Just okay, Jaderd? Really? I can't tell if that was enough hits or not. I think it was. Whoops. <clears throat> I'll wait around. Be read about it a be to be. Hopefully, 
Hopefully the uh, the Dairy Queen here doesn't kill us. All right, let's go. Good Dairy Queen fight. Nice. Ah, oh, shit. Got hit. Nice. A one hit Dairy Queen. Not bad at all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we punch Angelica and her golden butt, the run is over. Angelica, right in your golden butt. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a one death. Release the doves. Nice, that was a, a that was a one death playthrough. I think we got hit four times. Missed me. Got the doves though. I think we only got hit four times. Sub five hits. Nice. 